it's Jeannie. I'm back. Um, I took a little siesta because mm, I got a little crazy. And I've just been getting situated with stable working and just life. So today, I'm going to just do a simple makeup look, my everyday makeup routine. Or what it is since the last time that I've been on here. And I actually do have a job interview today. But I'm going to keep it short and sweet and simple. And if you want to see uh, what I do, stay tuned. So first I'm going to take this Pons. It is Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. I live by this stuff. It has done so much for my wrinkles. Well, I don't really have wrinkles as much as just I'm getting older. I'm 33. Life. But I swear by this stuff. It is so good. It moisturizes my skin. It has my skin like feeling oh so good. I've seen a lot of people use this actually to take off makeup. But I actually really just use it for moisturizer. Because it feels so good. It hydrates my skin. It just feels so smooth. And... I just love it okay next is brows which I'm not going to do on camera but I will show you the products that I use so first off I start with this Italia deluxe eyeliner gel and it is black as you can see this stuff works so good because my eyebrows are really really dark and then on top of that I take this Maybelline Polar color molten and I use I just mix these two brown shades one is light and one is very very dark but I mix them together um, to add powder to my brows actually before I do that I use this color mates mascara brow gel so after I line them and fill them in with the Italia then I take this brown side of the color mint mascara brow gel and this is in black 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 brown sorry and then this side is clear so I basically fill it in with the Italia and then to lighten them up I use this brown side and then uh, I put uh, this color molten I mix these two just to soften them up and then clear gel and then sometimes a little more powder depending on the situation and then I use everybody talks about this stuff and I just thought oh my god like it could not be that good like people are like really putting a dub on this but actually this LA girl pro concealer is the business I use these to clean them up and also, when I'm not wearing foundation, I use this to do my under eyes and uh, chin and cupid's bow and, you know, forehead a little. And I blend that in and then I just take some um, concealer, or not some concealer, I'm sorry. Then I just take some uh, baking powder, which I have banana bacon powder from HD cover effects which I actually don't have and I need to get out of my vanity um, before I start this look and then after I put the banana powder I just use uh, I'm losing it I'm losing it I, I lose I use this S&M smoke and mirrors this stuff came from the dollar store so for a dollar store product, this stuff actually works pretty good. Today I'm using this because actually I'm just being lazy. I actually have CoverGirl, I believe in the shade tan, tan that I use when I'm doing like a foundation and look. So like I said, the concealer, then I bake under the eyes, like set it with the baking powder basically so it's not really baking as much as making sure that it doesn't crease and then I take this on the rest of my face but most of the time it is not this one it is the cover girl but it's in my car 
and I'm being lacy. So today, S and M. Um, but I'm going to do all of that. Well, just my brows. I'll come back when it's time to do the concealing. But I'm going to do my brows off camera, and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, and this is what I use to the eyebrow brush that I use. I bought this off of eBay. Um, it's a pretty good brush though and it works really good because the one that came with the uh, brow pomade looks like this and it was cool in the beginning but now mm -mm, I need a sharper edge so this bad boy it is but I'm going to do my brows and then I'll be right back brow one done now brow two so now the brows are one and done now I'm gonna move on to concealer um, I do need to ask them about the brows I also do use this Ardell brow building fiber gel this stuff works so good um, this is black so like I said I use this to the Italia to do the initial drawing and filling in and then um, after I filled them in I took this brown color from the color mates and went over it to lighten them up and then uh, actually no after I filled them in I used the Ardell the black to gel them down and fill them in with more black because this is black and then after that I took this color mates and put the brown on to lighten them so that they wouldn't be too too dark um, after that I just brushed them in with a spoolie brush everything mesh it all together and then I took the color studio and mix those two colors I told you about which is the light brown and dark brown see I'm really digging there and then I set them down and then lastly I took the clear part of the color mates and slicked them down some more and there you have it and then I use like I told you the pro concealer to clean it all up and then I use these three brushes this is the angled brush that I use to get the actual shape and then, of course, the spoolie. And this is just the brush that I like to use to carve them out. Because it's a really crisp, crisp brush. And I love it to pieces. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Pro Concealer again in another u for another usage. Because I love things that are multi-usage. And then I'm just going to take it. And excuse my, uh, my scaliness. I'm just going to take it and put it in the corner of my eyes. Underneath the eyes, actually. And then I'm going to take it right here on the cupid's bow and a little on my chin. And then the other side of my under eye. Cause your girl did not sleep well last night, and so she's gonna need a little help today. Concealing plus I like like a lighter color, just so if I like want a highlight, I can get that popping. Okay, and then what you do next is I take my beauty blender and I wet it like so I'm just using a water bottle today because my spray bottle is in the bathroom and ain't nobody got time for that today and then you just take this and I do that there and then make sure that's all blended in and you just want to tap it into the skin. Don't rub it. And 
take that and tap it into the skin. And same thing on the cube as well. And then I do the forehead. And I like to go in between my brows just so they look more crispy. Because I love a crisp brow. And then you pat that into the skin. So, ever so gently. And then I just like to take the edge of it and go down my nose without putting any more product because that's unnecessary. And then, of course, we do the under eye. Because, you know, we want to look bright and awake and flawless. And now I take it down my nose. And a little down the cheekbone. Then, same thing on the other side. Let me make sure I'm in the focus. And same thing. Pat it in. I don't know why. Like, when I do this, my mouth is always, like, open. Like, I'm, like, mentally challenged or something. But, I don't know why. That just happens when you're doing makeup. It's actually quite fascinating to me. I was watching a uh, Tia Mari video because I like her quick fix videos. And she was actually saying the same thing and I thought, oh wow. Like, I'm not the only one who thinks that <laughs> that is kind of weird. But I'm here for it. Because, you know, you make a little bit of crazy faces. But, you come out looking so good. And so let's pat that into the skin. other side and there you have it and then also what I like to do is I like to take this contour stick this one is by LA colors um, I have another one that's actually um, I use when I really really like want a dark contour but today I don't want all that I just want to conceal the two chin because I'm working on it but my face gets chunky and I just want to look snatched today because we have this interview so what I do is I just take it right there and then you just lightly and then go down my neck and around and card this chin down honey and then I take it on the side and get that action right there same thing on the other side and bring it down to about a cheekbone or so. I'm not an expert on this. I just do it. And then I think that's going to be it today. I'm not going to contour my forehead. Because it's actually looking kind of small today. And then what I like to do after that is 
take this ooh, HD uh, set and forget setting powder and it's in the color banana like I thought and I just take my beauty sponge and I dip it in there a little bit blow on it and then I just go under where I put my contour because I want to set it just a little bit I don't need to go totally overboard I just like to be able to see the jello the jello and it goes everywhere of course and then but hey it's wipeable so we're with it and then the same thing on the other side just take it under where I carved it out and place it and then same thing for the chin I don't know why I do that on my chin it just makes me feel better about the situation also I forgot I need to do my nose contour too honey and then just take it outside which works better when I'm not sweating because it is hot here it's been so hot here like I said this is just a light contour it's nothing too serious and then take it like so and I also take that banana powder with a, a smaller brush I'm just going to use this guy right here and tap it off because it gets a little too much and then go right down the side of where I did all that Same thing on the other side. I'm just put some more here. Because I like it. And then some on this side. But, you, know, you have to be fair. You can't have one side looking good and the other not. Whole fairness and makeup around here. So then I just let that sit for a minute and I uh, close up everything basically. And then with uh, let's see, a brush, brush, brush take a brush like this one and just carve out that contour man
cheeks. And I go kind of crazy because this is kind of sheer. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Plus I just love blush. And then I, like I said, I go a little ham because it's really sheer. But when you put it in the skin, like, I just take my finger and buff it in my skin. And I like to go, like, around the apples on my cheeks. I feel like it just does something. And then the same thing on the other side. And I just buff it in with my highlighter once I get it kind of spilled. Because like I said, it's kind of greasy. And it just buffs beautifully. And gives you like so much color back to the face. And same thing on the other side. I'm taking the back end of my beauty sponge. This is the one I use for everything. And uh, the back side. It's clean, so I just use the back side to push it into the skin, honey. And then I just go up. So I like to go hand with blush because it gives you so much color. And for this to be so sheer, it actually works great on my skin, which is why I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So after we do blush, of course, my favorite part of makeup, highlighter. So right now, I'm currently using these two. I shop religiously at 99 cent only because of things like this that you come across. I don't want to just, you know, have my bougie makeup that I spend money on. I also like to find little stuff like this that I often come across at like dollar stores and 99 cent only stores this is um max makeup cherimoya um and this is the same brand but it's different colors i actually don't know the exact color name but i can find it and link it in the description below i'm telling you i love this highlighter this is the glossy frosty blue one and I never even thought I was a girl that could pull off a blue there is that one it is gorgeous okay and then there's a frosty white one they are stunning it probably the can the camera it's probably not even doing it justice. They're so bright. So what I like to do, just to have a little, and it actually gives you like a natural looking go, glow, not like too intense. So I take a little and I just go above my cheekbones. And I do this on both sides of my face. First, I use this frosty blue one. And then I do the same thing on the other side of my face. Not too heavily. And then I just buff this in with my finger. I used to be terrified of frosty or like highlighters like this until I found this stuff and realized like it melts so beautifully into the skin and it gives you like kind of a natural looking glow not that you know glow like everybody has that is just popping all over the place and don't get it twisted I love a popping highlight I like being extra with it I in the words of Nikki tutorials I like to glow honey okay I like to shine I like the sun but sometimes simple honey and that's what we're doing today we want that natural glow because you know like I said earlier we got this interview 
and we want to glow but we don't want to be too extra because we want this job honey and then I'll take the white one same thing and put it on top the blue and then once more buff it into my skin and then if I want to be a little extra then I will take this LA Colors eye palette makeup and they have this beautiful shade in here that I have no idea what it's called because it doesn't have a name but it's basically very glowy let me see if I can dig into it because it's very small like this but it has this shade which is this baby right here and when I want to be a little extra and just a little more glow then I'll take it and do the same thing on top just to glow it up then if you go on a little ham like I just did, just take the back of the beauty blender and buff it into the skin and that should calm it down a little because like I said, we don't want to be too extra today. So next, I take some highlighter, put it under my brow bone and on my cupid's bow and my nails. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just going to take that same color that I use on top of everything else, which is that golden color in the LA Colors, and I'm going to take it on the bridge of my nose, everywhere you want to pop, basically, and put that in there, and then on the tip of my nose. Now put that in there, under my brow, and under the eyebrow. And then it's done with that. So I'm just going to buff that all in. And no nose. And down on my nose. And cute bow. Got that in. That's what I like to do anyway. Just on my finger. And then for the highlight that we put under the brow I just like to take the same brush and put that out under there just a little I'm not going to do any eye look today any uh, shadow And just keep it simple next I'm going to pop some black liner under my eye right here in my eyes just to darken it up and I use this color makes um, pencil in black so I'm gonna do that Okay, so after I put that in my waterline, then what I do is I take this Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara and I do my top lids and my bottom lids. Next is lips. And today, we're just going to keep it simple. I have this um, e.l.f. liquid lipstick and it is in the shade Neutral. I also have a uh, pink liquid lipstick somewhere. Hold on just a second. Here she is. And this is Smoke and Mirrors, which is the same company that made this. This is where the S&M stands for on the foundation I use today. The Smoke and Mirrors Powder Foundation in Brown. And then this is the gloss, the matte lip gloss from them 
which is pink. It's a rosy color. It doesn't have the tag on it anymore. If I can find it, then I will gladly link it in the description. But basically, and then I have this NYX um, eyebrow pencil, which I am going to use to line my lips because I cannot find my brow lip liner. So basically, I'm going to take this brown and line my lips, and then I will go around it with the pink and put the neutral in the middle. So basically, I put the liner on and the pink, and now I'm just going to take this neutral one, which is a lip lacquer, and put it in the middle. And then I'm just taking my finger and tap, tap, tap. I like when it like goes up in the little and like the message I just think it looks so stunning and then once again I just take my beauty blender and try to get out any excess oil in my face it's really hot here in California which is where I live so uh, makeup is not necessarily a smart idea a lot of the times which is why I didn't use foundation and when I do use foundation I use my go-to is uh, Fenty Beauty the Rihanna foundation I believe my shade is the shade 420 um, and I love it to death I just love it to death so finally I'm just gonna take my hair down which is all you know slick and lovely and basically guys uh probably will just throw on some earrings hold on just a second let me throw so like i said probably just throw on some earrings fix my little side curls right here you know secure everything and but that is basically it that's the finished look for you i hope this was easy i hope you guys enjoyed it no, I probably will not be wearing these hoops to a job interview. I will switch them down to, you know, my little baby ones. But just for the purposes of this video, I uh, put on the hoops because I thought they looked good. And that's what I would do if I was not going to a job interview. But in any case, I hope you like this look. I love it. This is what I do on a daily basis. It takes me maybe about 20, 30 minutes. And that's it. Um, you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. And look out for my next one. Bye.